Hello, everybody. Setting up to be a nice day today. And speaking of nice, take a look at our beautiful live Zephyr cam out there right now. We're seeing really pretty conditions coming through with only a few passing trade showers, which have been mainly confined to the windward sides. Now, before I do talk more about our local weather, I did want to update you guys on that system that I'm tracking in the Atlantic. Now, what was Tropical Storm Cristobal did weaken to a depression. And take a look at this as it is still over Mexico. We're seeing a lot of widespread, very heavy rainfall, strong winds associated with the system. And once it pulls back over the water, over the Gulf of Mexico, we are expecting it to re-strengthen. And it's forecast to be making landfall on Sunday in Louisiana, just in the middle of the state, it looks like, as it passes, continues to pull through up towards Arkansas and near Missouri as well. We'll take a, we'll track this as it does continue to pull north, but again, this is going to be impacting, it looks like, the continental U.S. starting late this weekend into early next week. And again, it is, has already caused a lot of damage in southern Mexico. All right, now, good news is our water's here back at home. The eastern Pacific, the central Pacific, because we are now in hurricane season, luckily we are in the clear. But I'll always be keeping a very close eye on all of the systems that are around or in our waters. And again, as of right now, even far out forecast models don't show any type of systems developing. Now, what we are going to see, really nice conditions. We have drier air that's actually expected to be moving in from east to west tomorrow. So that's going to limit shower activity through the weekend. But unfortunately, those strong trade winds, it looks like some forecast models do show those easing off a little bit more Saturday into Sunday with a northeast flow hanging on, but potentially, again, not as breezy as what we're going to see today into tomorrow. Along with our trade winds, again, those trade showers, nothing heavy or widespread. We do have a fun bump for the south shores, up to eight foot faces, so high surf advisories posted for the south shores still smaller than yesterday's 12 foot faces, but again, still advisory levels. Sunshine through the weekend, and it looks like trade winds sticking around even into early next week. All right, Ross, back over to you. Oh, let's send it on out to Chris Latronic because of look at your traffic conditions. Hey, Chris.